Hi, I'm Mrs. Organized and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to cover a book with contact paper. I use this method every year to cover my kids' school books and I find it's the easiest way to cover a book to avoid getting bubbles. If you like videos about home organization, home hacks and life hacks, please subscribe to my channel. Now let's get into it. To cover a book successfully, you'll need contact paper, sharp scissors, a ruler and of course, a book. The first step is to cut the contact paper so that there's an even amount of space around the edges. I like to leave about a 3cm gap around the edges. The second step is to fold the edge a little bit larger than 3cm. Press down firmly to make a crease. You then want to peel the contact paper up to the crease line and press that crease line down again firmly. Place about 1cm of the edge of your book on the sticky contact and press it down firmly. Cut small rectangles out on each side. And then fold that edge down onto the inside cover of the book. Turn your book around and hold on to the non-sticky flap. Use your ruler to make a sawing motion and as you slowly slide it along the book, you pull the flap at the same time and this results in a bubble-free cover. Flip your book around Cut a slit around about here on each side and then fold the edges in. If there's any excess contact paper on the edges, just trim these off with your scissors. Turn the book over so you can cover the other side of it. Hold on to the non-sticky part of the contact paper and as you press your ruler firmly and make a slow sliding sawing action, you gently pull the contact paper at the same time. Cut out small rectangles on each corner and slits on each side. And then fold in the edges.
trim the edges at both ends. If you found this video useful, please show it by clicking on the like button below. And if you want to see more videos about home organisation, home hacks and life hacks, please subscribe to my channel by clicking here or the red subscribe button below. I think you'll also find these videos useful and feel free to leave any questions or comments below as I love reading them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!